This is the most dire situation we've ever been so far. Usually we have some kind of support. Fraxness has her back, but Shido right now, by himself, Toka taken away. Yoshino, Yamai sisters, they're on Miku's side, and what the fuck, Kyohei? Kyohei was just completely fine, even though Kotori was like hypnotized. That's really interesting because they specifically mentioned Kyohei, you're not hypnotized, are you? And they played it off as a joke, but if that's not the case, why was he not hypnotized? We know that Shiro doesn't get hypnotized because he has immense spiritual power. Does that also mean that Kyohei is like special too? I mean, clearly he is because we saw that he's like a genius strategist and he's, he's more than meets the eye. He's not just this Joe character, even though he is quite often, these Joe characters are super important. We'll see how it goes. But at the end of the day, when no one is there for us, who's there? Kurumi, Kurumi is finally back. She seems to know a little bit more about Miku's past. It's kind of weird right now because Kurumi is good, bad in this weird area where we have the same common goal. She wants some more information from DEM, but ultimately she's after Shido's, you know, massive spiritual power to suck all that shit up and use the final bullet. I have no idea what Kurumi's intentions are, but I still think that she's a good person. Let's begin today's reaction. Bro, her power, like, it's, it's almost like a domain expansion. Her, it's like you're in her territory, her zone. Like, it's crazy. And you know what the most crazy thing is? She might as well have 12 fucking different powers. Because every, because Toka is just sword, you know, big sword bunk. Yeah, my sisters. Oh, Yoshino. Ice attack. <laughs> <laughs> Kurumi, fucking 12 different abilities might as well be 12 different angels, man. All the girls are... Oh, I just realized all the guys are outside with the sticks working, but the girls, she doesn't put them to work. <laughs> truly, <laughs> truly gender equality in place. I'm not gonna lie. Miku's voice, it's not the best. I, I wouldn't consider her one of the best singers. Her voice, I... you're talking trash can. She is so unreasonable, man. Oh no, all the girls are moving now. Can't see shit though, it's so dark. Kurumi, do your thing. Humans caught in my shadow. Can't move. That's another thing I didn't know about Kurumi's powers. Oh. Okay, what do you got for us, Kurumi? All her shadows. There's this power is ridiculous, but that's what she's been stockpiling for, right? So many Kurumis, man. Wait, this should be like no wait. What's her? Mika should be getting really excited about all these different Kurumis, though, right? No, no, no! She got us! She got us! Hug me tighter. Uh, I know they don't mean it, but uh, it's just so annoying that everyone's just against Shido, man. But who cares if everyone's against us? We got Kurumi. <laughs> Yoichino, get your cute face out of here. Three adorable spirits, but like, Kurumi might as well be like fucking a hundred spirits. I'm serious, man. Her powers, they're fucking 12 angels. Like, think about it. She might as well have 12 fucking angels. God damn, man. One girl army. <laughs> okay, Kurumi. <laughs> I love how Kurumi just talks to herself. <laughs> oh! I think Miku actually likes it. Oh! <laughs> now, kiss! No, what happens if we just like hold? Miku and wait, where are we going? Where are we going? I was wondering what happened if you go into that portal. What's in there? It's like pitch blackness. Oh, can't use her powers. No, she though riz her up. But this is so hard. Like, what the fuck could we do to convince her otherwise? She's like, look at this. There's no way we can reach her. What did we do to you? Oh, lie about, you know, the penis inspection. <laughs> bonk, bonk, ding, dong. Shift the argument so that 
It's for the sake of Toka. Yeah, are you gonna let Toka just die like this, Miku? This is on you. Outlet for your life. Not even. I don't think he's ever tried that with Toka. Like, not even a single time. Does she have, like, one bad boyfriend in the past and now she thinks all men are trash? She's talking like one of those girls that had one bad experience. It's like, men just need to die. She don't need to do something so drastic that Miku will trust them. What could he possibly do? Why is she so against it? She said because then it'll go back to like before or something. Yeah, that's even better. Come on, give us your powers. Could we just... <laughs> yeah, yeah, my turn just got a bloody hurricane going. Could we just fucking just brute forces? Like even here. <laughs> <laughs> Kurumi just has no plan. It's just shove as many Kurumis as possible and it'll eventually work. What happened in that past? Under a different name. She was probably like trying to be an idol under a different name before in the past, right? But things went bad. A lot of hate comments, a lot of haters. And <laughs> One more second, Kurumi. <laughs> oh shit. This is looking kind of bad too. Nah, those Kurumis are fine. But probably something in the past, she tried to like do idol stuff, didn't work out, met a lot of trash fans, most of them that were guys, doesn't trust men anymore, something like that? Is that yeah? You're into that too? Toka like, oh! First, Kurumi head pat, oh my god. Imagine if Toka's watching this from above, she would be so angry. I didn't expect, you know, Kurumi to enjoy head pat. I thought, you know, she... Uh, she's more like dominant like this, you know? Oh, you know, she switches it around. Oh, let that smooth jazz play. No, you're, you're too strong, actually. She's doing the licking thing again. <laughs> Bite his ears! I can't focus. This is way too much ASMR. <laughs> I'm a bad boy, Kurumi. Come on, punish me! <laughs> this fucking guy, man. He's so lucky. Oh, they just casually have a power. Oh, oh, she's a lot closer than I thought. Oh, there's a fucking DEM tower in the city like that? I never knew. Is Isaac Westcott one of like the top figures in the DEM? I would expect him to be pretty high up there, but like not like the main leader. It's too early to show that much of the hierarchy, right? Yeah. For, for what? Hmm. Hmm? What are they experimenting with spirit powers? When soy flour bread is run out, she is in despair when there is no soy flour bread. Come on! You wouldn't, especially with her wearing this fucking maid dress right now. Oh! Urikami when she sniped Red Kun and Shido? Westcott is just an evil piece of shit, huh? I was hoping to... I, I like villains if they're well written. And you want to kind of root for the villain too because it's more complex, but... This guy is just straight up evil. Ellen, I want to like you. Why are you doing this? Maybe there's a future where Ellen joins her side. I don't know. He's... Space Quake? Who? Miku? Is she going crazy? Huh? There's no other spirit. It's gotta be Miku. That's another really good point. The DEM themselves can trigger space quick alarms. I never really thought about who actually runs the alarms. Maybe just a fake space quick then? Yeah? Yeah, it is a fake one, right? These fucking shitty ass robots. Damn, couldn't be so fast though. Kurumi can jump! <laughs> See, it's just... Again, one girl army. It doesn't matter how many of them they send at us. Kurumi can just like match it right back. This is so useful. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that was funny. How many of them are there? Bro, this is where their fucking taxpayer money is going to. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Hmm? Is that actually important? Shido holding his head? Is he damaged? Oh... Who was that? Probably Ellen? Oh, that's kind of... 
No, she's fine. There's many more of her. But what the? Oh. Mana? Mana, no, we're on the same side. <laughs> Casually fucking cuts off one of the best girl's head up. <laughs> what the fuck? You didn't have to kill Kurumi like that. Well, you know, Kurumi did put her in the hospital. It's pretty bad, so it's not a big deal. Hello. Come on, we're friends now. Hey, hey, relax, relax. Line luck on me letting you live. <laughs> she fucking bodied Mana in season one. You know, like, what was it, like episode 10 or 9? Like, she went crazy mode on her. What is this, though? What is the other business? Does the DEM have information about the first spirit ever? You know, the one that caused 150 million death? Probably. Because, like, Kurumi's end goal right now is just to get spiritual energy to use her 12th bullet. Friend. Only friend? Hey, I thought... What the fuck? I thought we were special. I'm telling you to die and stuff? Fucking... We're getting ready to launch what the missile steen or something the cannon right at the stadium of students. <laughs> it's nice to see that Kotori was actually, you know, felt bad about it. But they can they remember what they say. Oh, this is actually really important. She is so in conflict. You know you want to help, right? Come on, help us. Am I a bad person? Oh, this has to be an objective answer. Yes, he does. They know. Well, I'm not sure what the growth trio will say. <laughs> Come on. Gross. But. Oh. That was a lie. They honestly. Yeah, they don't really know. But the Yamai sisters and Yoshino definitely do. Yeah, she's oh so happy! Gross. <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> gross, gross! I love how the fact that Miko said, I don't like liars, don't lie to me. <laughs> and all she said differently was, add another gross. Miku, I bet he would do everything for you too in the future. Come on! Those were genuine words, you know it. No one will die? Well, I hope no one dies. I just think that maybe Mana would be in danger. Oh. Actually synchronized. Origami gonna make a move? Oh, Origami's still thinking about Shido, man. Then I'll be the enemy of AST. Come on, Cyrus. Come on, come on our side. Yeah. Last beacon of hope. Why though? What? I never really questioned it though. Like, why does she care so much about Shido? That still has not been explained. It's just this random fat infatuation with Shido that I don't understand because they never explained it, right? There's gotta be some deeper reason as to why she's so dedicated towards Shido. Oh? Hey, hey, are we getting some Yuri moments suddenly? <laughs> Secret weapon? What? What is it? Bandersnatch versus an army of Kurumis and Kurumi can just really fly, right? Oh. Yo! She just fucking strangled and the blood exploded in the hell. <laughs> this Kurumi actually terrifies me. <laughs> but she can just casually fly. I always wondered, like, how does spirits just fly? Can everybody just fly? Doesn't that mean Shido can technically fly later? Territory. Ooh, shielding us. Nice, nice. She good, she good. Someone's operating white licorice. Ooh. Jessica Rabbit? Me? Sorry, her name's not Jessica Rabbit, it's Jessica Bailey. Scarlet licorice, white licorice. Scarlet's better? Jessica. <laughs> she did get trounced by Mana before, but now she actually has good tech. Let's see what happens here. Because you just said that you're gonna lose. 
<laughs> She's monologuing too hard. You know someone's gonna lose an enemy if they start monologuing like that. It's desperation. Why would she? Oh, that's right. It takes a lot of physical toll on the user. She's definitely gonna collapse from this. <laughs> nah. If you think about it, this grown ass woman is beefing with a fucking middle school child. <laughs> It just, if you just take a step back and think about the situation, it's hilarious to me. <laughs> Fucking Jessica, man. Let's see what happens, though. Oh, you didn't see anything. Could <laughs> nah. maybe? Oh, 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 no! <laughs> Damn, their aim fucking sucks. Sandalfon! Summon it! Sandalfon! His eyes! There it is! Spear Knight! Don't give me a cliffhanger! Oh? Sandal phone coming from above? Oh! Let's go. Damn. Damn. It's kind of different though, huh? Because like, Toka Sandal phone, she kicks the ground and it goes, comes up. Shido just like comes from above, like descends from the heavens. That's right. Just believe and the beam magic will just happen. I love that explanation. Just believe. Damn, dude. Are those two okay? I always feel bad. Oh my. God. Oh. Oh. No, stab is fine. Stab is fine. Remember, we got Kotori's healing. Oh, this is rot. Oh, that's a lot of blood. Should be fine though, right? You know, blue flames. Yeah, there it is. Ridiculous. Two angel powers at once, though. Is, is this okay for him to abuse the powers like this? There's gotta be a penalty. It's too OP, right? Every time they do a close zoom in of Shido's eye, you know that little white flicker's gonna happen. Spirit powers. Fucking sandal phone. Still so cool. I I don't know, because like Toka, the way she kicks the ground and summons sandal phone, the sheath also comes out. Remember, if you like cut the sheath too, it turns into like this next level mode. I forget the exact name. It's, it starts with an H and then it's like a giant sandal phone, right? I wonder if Shido can do that too. Man, Shido is so OP, but like you guys have said, there's some crazy penalty that comes with this, right? He's not going to be too well at the end of the, end, end of the arc, but I'm sure everything's going to be fine. We still have to beat Ellen at the end of the day. How are we going to beat Ellen? Shido versus Ellen? Maybe Miku, well, I mean, Miku's definitely going to show up too, but maybe Shikurumi and Miku, maybe even Origami can show up, and Ellen, she is the strongest wizard. Then again, maybe the growth tree will show up. We'll see what happens. This arc is getting so hyped. We have two more episodes. It's going to be so good. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.